First at 10, Fox 56 has been covering concerns within the Wilkes-Barre VA Medical Center since the onset of the pandemic. And tonight, families are voicing concerns over communication from the medical center. Good evening, I'm Aaron Levy. And I'm Ann Larie. Our Jake Sarwar has been following this story and joins us live to share two stories from families. Jake. Yeah, Aaron and Ann, those concerns stem from a recent case of Legionnaire's disease within the CLC. Brenda Banizak's father, Hank, is a 20 year veteran of the Marine Corps who lives in the VA's community living center. A little over a week ago, Hank was sent to the ICU for pneumonia. He went hypothermic and his body temperature dropped down to like 88. Um, and that was on, on a Friday. The next day, Hank received a different diagnosis. They told me infectious disease was involved and that they had to notify the head of the hospital and that he had Legionellis. According to the World Health Organization, Legionellis, or Legionnaire's disease, is a form of pneumonia caused by the Legionella bacteria from water or potting mix. I reached out to the VA Medical Center who confirmed one case of the disease, stating, extensive contact tracing and confirmation testing has not identified a source within the community living center or medical center, and no additional cases have presented. Days after being diagnosed with Legionnaires, Banizek was informed that her father did not have the disease, causing further confusion and frustration. Why was he responding to what they were treating and then all of a sudden he doesn't have that, he has something else? The family of a decorated veteran who wishes to remain anonymous also expressed their frustration. The families should have been told, which we were never aware, we were never made aware of that. and. Uh, I just think they're trying to hide uh, what the real issue is. A spokesperson for the VA says in part, there was no mass notification of family members via phone or email, but family members of non-cognizant symptomatic residents did receive notification phone calls. In the last few weeks, the medical center has identified some residents in the CLC with gastrointestinal issues and began precautionary water testing. When visiting, the anonymous family found it strange to come across signs warning people not to drink the water. They said, don't drink the water. We're having issues. We're having issues is what they said with the water. As of this broadcast, the VA says their water supply is safe and functioning. Now, the VA believes that the initial case of that Legionnaire's disease may have been a false positive, but for right now are treating it all as a positive case until more testing comes back. We, of course, will keep you updated here and online at Fox56.com. Live tonight in Wilkes-Barre, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10.